So a famous, a very famous celebrity's gold digging whore has emerged. Who is it? So you guys know who Kevin Costner is? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So his he had he has a gold digging whore of an ex-wife who he is divorcing for oh. being a gold digging. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Is Are you sure? Her? She is? This is her. Do you think uh, if just on looks alone? Is it she has? Oh, I thought she was an actress. Does she have her own like yeah. independent success? Oh no, I was thinking she looks like Tori Spelling. <laughs> Never when, mind. You look, when you look at her, do you think she looks like a gold digging whore? I think um, that she is a gold digging whore, yeah. So just off, do you oh, think it's easy? I think she's actually okay. a gold digging whore, yeah. What's, wow. Just off looks, huh? Just off looks. Just off looks. Why, that's, why, that's the thing. Why, why what makes huh? that, what, what makes her that? Because I was reading about, uh, about her in the Daily Mirror. <laughs> oh, reputable source. Yeah. yeah. And so now I know for a fact that it's true. Yep. Ah. Yeah, so she, um, her and uh, Kevin Costner's, Kevin Costner's. <laughs> <laughs> no, leave it that for now on. Yeah, yeah. Never say Costner again. Uh, uh, Kevin Costner. Cost <laughs> her and Kevin Costner's were together for, for a while. How long? Uh, many, many years. She's playing the long game, huh? <laughs> she played the long game for sure. That's some gold digging hard tendencies. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Don't do that. Anna Nicole Smith. They'll, she they'll, played the long they'll, game. They'll yeah. be there for like 40 years sometimes. Well, yep. this particular article is mentioning how she has emerged, right? So she she, she has emerged and she's holding like a really expensive purse. Like she's coming out. How does one emerge as a gold digging whore? Well, if you're if you're not around and then you come out of your house, then you have emerged. Because mm. yeah. she's so, been hiding in the house simple. cave. So this particular gold digging whore comes out, right? And, she, <laughs> and she's got a really nice Prada bag. Oh, oh how much are those? It's a huge tell. It's a it's called it's a clue. It's a clue. Yeah, yeah. that's a clue. <laughs> they always got some she's fancy bags. That hardcore though, because she's not Hermes. What is it? She's not Hermes. You put Hermes above Prada? Yeah. It's really? I'm sure it's got to be Birkin. Birkin is very expensive. Mm -hmm. right? How much is a Prada bag run? It's cheap. Twenty five k. Because that's how much a Birkin is, huh? De much. Definitely, it's definitely above 10 G's. Yeah. Definitely above 10 G's. But yeah, so when I was, re I didn't know who this chick was. I knew who Kevin Costas was for a long time. Costas. But I didn't know who she was. But now that I read this Daily Mirror article, I know everything about her. <laughs> and seeing the little clue, the little context clue of her wearing, holding this expensive purse tells me everything I needed to know. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. okay. it's not like, <laughs> she's not doing Gucci or something more normal. Yep. For a celebrity of that caliber, so she that wasn't. In, she wasn't part of any charities or things that like some rich dudes, gold digging horrors do. It doesn't say. It just says what what a gold digging fucking slut she is. <laughs> <laughs> and just over and over and That's over. This makes me believe you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. This really makes me believe you. I'm with you, you Steve. If, you feel me? if, if she's that rich, <laughs> if she's with Kevin Costner. If she had a Kate Spade bag, <laughs> then everybody, everyone would have been like, "Oh, she loves him for him." Exactly. Because he's, she has a, they're, they're millionaires, yep. and she has a Kate Spade bag. Hey, just go, go something a little cheaper, dude. Yeah. There's just not much info about her. I don't even know what her name is. That's great. For example, I just know she's Kevin Costner's wife, ex-wife. Are they? They're going for, through a divorce. Mrs. Are Costner's. they? It's official. The divorce. It's official. So they. Um, so he is 68 years old. They had 18 wow. years of marriage, wow. and their wow. breakup uh, has not been amicable. Uh, apparently, Mr. Costness has been fighting to get <laughs> her to get her to vacate their $145 million Santa Barbara home. Wow! And I will say, not to brag, but my in-laws have a $1 million home in Santa Barbara, and it might as well be 800 square feet. So you you can imagine <laughs> what 145 is gets well you. It's insane, bro. Yeah. That's probably they got five bedrooms. I bet. Steve can go in the living room and touch. But, but, she, but she's got to move out. They probably can't even I see each other in the house. TV but. cribs of Kevin Costner back in the day. Yeah, me too. It's the Santa Barbara house. It's along the, it's like on the cliff along the beach, and it's big enough to ride a horse back and forth. Wow. What the? It's just crazy, huh? I'm like, damn, you have a fucking horse trail. Who else watched it? Who? 
the gold digging horse. Yeah, I bet she did. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Because she got with them 18 years ago. <laughs> yeah. That's around the times MTV yeah. Cribs yeah, yeah, was very yeah, yeah, yeah. popular. She was probably watching TRL, and the next thing that shows up is MTV Cribs with Kevin Costner. Because that's how they do it. We figured it out already. That's how gold diggers do it. Yep. They just watch all the stuff and they go, oh, he's rich. They scheme. And then they go, I'm going to make him fall in love with She's me. Like, I'm going to ride a horse on that. Yep. She's like, 18 years is probably enough, and then I can break up with him, and then. Take half. Yeah. What do you think her chances are of getting half? 50-50. But some, <laughs> but some gold diggers are dumb nice. because maybe a hundred. <laughs> because some gold diggers are dumb because on the way to getting the guy, mm -hmm. they make a lot because they needed to sustain their bills. So they make a lot of money and then they get with the guy yep. and then when it's 50-50, they have to end up because they suck at math too. They have to give a lot of what they made, and they don't. It actually doesn't even up. give half of what they made to the guy now. Yeah. Yeah. And then they, so they're like a reverse gold digger. They're too good at being gold diggers that they... They you know, dug gold elsewhere through like a career or something. Yeah. And they saved all this money up, they got with their target. Oh, and then they, they got gold They did the long game, maybe 40 years. Yep. Yep. And then they broke up with them, but then now she has to give up half, but she made more, cause oh, she didn't, no. she didn't plan her target out. Is that how that works? I was reading in the TMZ comments. Yeah, what they say? So, so she, right? So she They're all fact check too. Yeah. Them, right? yeah. But she conveniently waited for him to be on this hit show Yellowstone and then she decides to dump him. That's what this chick was saying oh. in the TMZ comments. So he was making tons of money. Exactly. He was raking it in. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's in Yellowstone, huh? Cuz he was kind of his career was kind of on a downswing for a while. Right, obviously. But then just with Yellowstone. Yellowstone. I heard Yellowstone's a good show. People did he did he Love produce Is he a producer of that show? Yeah. And it's no. a hit show. So he had to put money into it. He's double dipping, dude. He's oh wow. So she plays a long about, game. Is it about the geysers there? I think so. No, it's Yellowstone, Montana, I think. It's not the national park. It's about Yellowstone, Africa. Oh, okay. <laughs> they have tons of geysers there. It's just a geyser show. Yeah, it's all about geysers. <laughs> Buster show the guys. It's a hit show. It's the, a show hit. the show is Kevin Costner's being like, it's about the bus. <laughs> hey, like, I'd watch it. There she goes. We all did it at Yellowstone. Everyone, yeah. dude, it's you just stand there and you wait. And it, I think every week they just throw new things into the geyser and see what Yeah, but I think up. it's not about the national park. I, I think it is. So there's no buffalo. There's no guys. He doesn't watch TV, this guy. No, I think it's Yellowstone nah. Ranch or something, right? Yeah. But we're, we're going to take this one, dude. Just has take anyone, a back seat. Has anyone done that bit at Yellowstone's or at the geysers where you go like, ah, 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 I think the tour guide does that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The park ranger does it. Yeah, yeah. Or he's like, holy shit, I'm about to fucking. And then he goes, he goes oh. My park ranger, he was so good. He he did the girl voice and the guy voice. Really? Yeah. That's good. He did a, <laughs> and then he went, oh, oh, and then me and my mom were like, wow, he's really good. He does both. It's, it's kind of like when you and dad do it. Yeah. It's like when someone sings Aladdin for both parts. Yeah. <laughs> chuck me, chuck me, chuck me, chuck me, chuck me. <laughs> and then he timed it exactly. Like, when the guys are came, he was positioning himself he put his in legs the right out. position. He put his legs out like this. He's all. To the moment. Like, you know when people do the leaning tower of Pizza? Yeah. yeah. He fucking laid down right in the right position and then. Yeah. <laughs> Those guys just can fuck you up though, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck you up. Real hot. You gotta stay uh, away. Don't sit on that thing. Oh, that. Don't, 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 do, don't that. do that. I, know. I, try, I tried <laughs> once. Bitches, it's tempting for the bitches, but yeah. don't do yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Not like a jacuzzi tub or anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so pretty much this is about this gold digging whore. <laughs> And yeah, read all about it, mostly through all the comments and what people was speculating about. What do people? Right. What do the people say? Oh, just I mean, she She's was in it. Or. She was in it for money, obviously, because he's a very rich person. And then they had three kids together, and then she divorced him at exactly the height of his career resurgence. Wow. Right, right. Yeah. So, so she could get max yeah. dollars. Yep. But she has a job, right? I think it's being a gold digging slut. <laughs> that's what the last tax it. filing said. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's how she files her taxes. Career earnings through the roof. <laughs> yeah. Good for her. When she, when she goes for credit card information and then they're like occupation, 
She goes gold digging slut. Gold dig. She's like, there's no, there's no option for gold digging slut. What's, she, what's going on? Other she's a yeah. She's a Costas oh, she coin. Yeah. Gold she's gold a Costas slut. coin hodler. <laughs> hodler. <laughs> yeah, she's a heck of a time when the census guy comes to the door. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really glad we oh, have breaking it. news like this. I'm telling you. That, you know, we let people know. Watch out for them gold digging sluts. The facts go deep. Keep yeah. your, yep, facts go keep real your deep. eyes out. We did a lot of research on this one, so. Yeah. yeah. Yep. See you guys in the next one.